Hello, Zango Nation. This is Kelly Allred here at Utah Corporate um, doing the WWT that we have every Thursday night. Um, thank you all for listening, and thank you all for you know who continuously comes on these calls and supports us on these calls. Um, as you can see, we're we're tra we're changing up the WWTs a little bit from um, 2015. The flow will go a little bit. But dif differently, but that's just so that we can keep it fresh and and educating, um, so you guys can learn and you guys can learn to teach it um, and different things like that. So we appreciate you guys being on these calls every Thursday and getting your new people on these calls. The calls are recorded and you'll be able to find them um, on the zangopowerof3.com. So that's a new website that we have where, where Ryan and I are going to be hosting a bunch of different resources, some videos, um, different things like that. So if you haven't checked out zangopowerof3.com, check it out. It's a great resource tool. It's a good resource for your distributors and for your new people as well. So thank you guys again for coming on. There's a lot of excitement in January, more exciting than I thought it was going to be in January because January isn't my favorite month, but boy, we have had some exciting times here. Uh, a lot of people coming in, um, visiting the offices, doing business, lots of different changes, promotions, sales, you name it. Lots of things coming on. So let's go ahead and get going on this webinar. Um, I, I put up this quote, you'll see, um, just because I thought of everybody who has uh, is always supporting these calls and coming on every single Thursday. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. So learn the, all you can. You, the uplines, the leaders in our in our um, industry and in Zango, they never stop learning as well. That's why you'll see your 500 Ks and things on here, so that they can learn and they can learn how to teach it. So let's just jump right into a few things. I wanted to, to tell you that this, this um, Zango Reserve sale that we had um, are having in the month of January is going phenomenal. The sales are really super good on it. People are liking it. The savings is super good. And um, you know, order if you haven't already ordered. It, promote if you haven't already promoted because we haven't had a sell on juice ever, and we probably won't again for a long time. So the price is right for these. You'll notice that as we do these each month, um, our our promotions we're gonna we're gonna um, use the word sales because really what we're going to do is is have a monthly sell on a product that we spotlight for that month. So um, you know, this month it's it's Zango Juice and Reserve. Next month we'll see what it is, but the sa those are already being worked out. But the savings on that, that particular product spotlight are great. So um, that's how that's how we're going to do it. You know, from here on out with these monthly sales that we have in our spotlight products. So again, thank you guys for every you know everybody for taking advantage of this this particular one. The next thing I wanted to go over is our XBAs. So we just finished one this last weekend, and it, it of course was really phenomenal. We had some great speakers. Armando um, Jr. was was uh, one of our speakers. Ray Heron was one of our speakers. Richard O'Brien, Dwayne, um, Gordon Morton, and just two days packed full of information. Those who have been to one know that they are great, phenomenal, educating personal development, you name it, it's all wrapped up in one in, in that particular training. So the next training that we're having is Saturday, and that's in California. It's not a full two days like we do in Utah. Um, it's a little bit different, the flow is a little bit different, but um, there is one going on all day long in California. So if you are near San Diego or around there, make sure that you register for it because, again, new speakers, fresh content, um, a lot of fun, a full day's worth of, of information. And then the next one here, the two, another two-day one here in Utah will be March 11th and 12th. And I already have started the, the, the reservation list, the signing up list. There's a lot of people that's already on there, so get your people 
here is really well worth your time and and your money when you when you're investing in your business and yourself. So it's it's phenomenal information, and we'll keep the you know the information the same and fresh, and the speakers fresh too as well. So get signed up for that. How do you sign up for that? You can go on the the website under events, or simply send me an email. Um, the Utah one is capped at, at you know it has a capacity full. Um, so email me Kelly A at Zango dot com if you're interested in coming, and then I can I can give you the information. So thank you guys for supporting that. Okay, now we'll jump into um, now we'll jump into the 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 reason for this WWT, and you know the reason for this is to go through and teach teach and learn. Now some of you guys already have great structure. Some of you guys already know about customer centers. We understand that that's great. We're not trying to change the world or trying to change you know, what you guys are already doing. What we're simply doing is trying to make a united way to, to explain this to maybe the new person or, or somebody who's been in for a while that doesn't understand um, structure or the different trees or different things like that. So this is just a simple way that possibly will help you guys and us internally explain these different concepts because it is difficult. We understand that. There's a lot of information we all learn every single day and this is just another thing that we can learn and learn to teach. So I want to go over the two types of genealogy trees. We have two types of trees in Zango. Most of you know this. The first tree is the sponsor tree. Now the sponsor tree is who, you know, everyone that you have personally brought into the into Zango. Um, they are positioned directly underneath you. They are your sponsors, your person, your people that you introduced on there. And they're never given away in the downline. Everybody, the width of your sponsor tree is as wide as the number of people that you've personally enrolled. That's how big the width of your sponsor tree should be. There's never any reason at this point to give away sponsorship, so keep those. That's your sponsor tree. Okay? The next tree, and, the, and a very important tree, the most important tree, is your placement tree. Now, you know, unlike your sponsor tree, you have some freedom here with this with placing people in your downline. So the freedom is is you personally sponsor somebody and you can place them somewhere in your downline. Now there's a couple of reasons why people place place people in their downline. And uh, one of the reasons is is to build synergy, to build a team, to start grouping volume together and build a team. Um, another reason would be maybe to keep your uh, people in the geographical location. So if you have two sets of different people in South Africa, maybe you want to group them together for geographical reasons. Um, personal relationships. If you want your, your mom and, and your, your daughter um, in the same placement tree, you can do that. Group up relationships like that. And you know, last but not least is building rank. I mean, you, you want to be able to keep your volume high and tight and um, expanding that volume. Um, teaching people how, how to sponsor and how to place correctly um, on there. So building to the next rank is, is one of the reasons why you would um, place somebody in your downline. So since now we kind of got a um, you know a broad view of what those different trees mean. Um, the proper placement of distributors in in the placement tree is important um, to build wider, to build deeper, and you know inevitably to build more profitable. So um, and I'll, I'll I'll give you some some business tips as we go through this. So the next slide here, uh, hopefully, if you can see it, if you're on the webinar, if you're listening, then just imagine. Um, you see A, B, and C on here. Those are your personally sponsored people, the people that you brought into the business that you have the relationship with. But in this diagram, you'll see that C is placed under A. So, you, so with this diagram, you're starting to build, you want to build with two teams. You wanted to start out building with two teams. And you'll see that C is placed 
underneath A, and you still keep the sponsorship. So I hope that makes sense. Um, on this next slide, you will see um, A, B, C, D, E, and F are all sponsored to you, personally sponsored to you, but you'll see that they are placed underneath A and B. So again, what you're trying to do is build two teams. Keep your sponsorship, but build two teams. And you want to keep those, those off of your, right on your second level, second and third level. Never drop placement down below the third level. That's a business tip. So hopefully everybody can see this diagram on here and understand it. Again, you can see we're placing people in these different teams, in these different groups, will help your volume grow and um, make your organization stronger. So now I'm going to introduce a, a somewhat new concept. Some of you guys know, know about this. Hopefully everybody does. But if you do not, then you'll want to know. And that is the concept of making a customer center. Now, what is a customer center? Customer center is simply yourself signed up as a customer, Kelly Allred, CC, Kelly Allred Customer Center, and all of your customers are placed and sponsored underneath that customer center. So let, let, let me clarify that a little bit again. So what is a customer center? It's a holding spot basically for all of your customers that you've personally brought into the business. Now, why would people want to make a customer center? Um, a couple of the reasons why people want to make a customer center, and the, probably the, the most common reason, is because you can rank up with a customer center. You can actually become a 1K or a 5K or a 20K or, or beyond with a customer center because all of that volume, your customer volume is placed under one leg. And you know, in, in our business, in our compensation plan, you need three you need a, no more than three legs to benefit from our compensation plan. With your three legs, you can get all the benefits with that. Now, it, you know, is this beneficial for a 500K? I mean, it, I guess it could be. It's not necessary, necessary for a 500K to do it because um, they're not going to be able to, I shouldn't say not going to be able to, but if they, if they ranked up with this, um, you know, if you're 200K and you, and you make 200,000 in customer volume, good on you. Um, but really, simply, this is for kind of the lower, the lower ranks to climb the bigger ranks with it. Um, and again, to rank up with it. And I'll go over some Q&A with this. So that's your customer, that's your customer center, that's a third, you know, basically a third leg to help you rank up and to also keep uh, that customer volume there in, in one little organization. So the next slide here you'll see is, is the same one as the one that I went over, but that I just went over, but you can see that your customers are starting to enroll customers themselves. And how if you teach you know, your customers that they can get nothing beats free, um, or if they want to refer somebody, you can see how, how your organization would start to grow with these customer centers, um, with these customers. We all know the benefits of having customers. You know, we, we, we encourage a, um, a healthy balance between distributors and customers. You know, some uplines, it's necessary for them to start out as a customer and then as they enroll, you know, some uplines turn them into distributors. Um, when you want to convert somebody from a customer to a distributor, it's a very simple process. Basically, we take that customer, move it to a distributor, and then you have the say of where you want it to be placed at. So you can have you know, it placed in one of those teams that we talked about previously. So I'm, I'm hoping that's making sense. If it's not, then uh, let me know. Um, but kind of, you know, again, this is for you guys to teach this this way, a kind of a universal way, if you choose to. Um, if, you, if you're an upline and you choose not to do this, that's fine. We, you know, we have to find a way so that people can understand this. So here's a few, here are a few um, business tips. And this is, a, this is a great slide because I actually got it from um, 
a, it was a, an international, I think he was over in Belgium, somewhere around there, and he was using this. I, we taught him, Brian Gallagher taught him the concept, and in his webinar he used this, so I thought it was a great, great idea. Um, here's a few tips. Keep your volume high and tight. Again, do not place anybody underneath your third level. There's a reason for that. We all know the reasons for that. Keep it high and tight. Believe me, it's very beneficial. Avoid personally enrolling any distributors beyond the third level, what we just talked about. Avoid creating power legs, what we just talked about. Some people are like, what's a power leg? A power leg is placing people underneath each other in a row. So placing them on your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, down to your 30th level. Um, you know, not recommended. Keep it high. Uh, create a customer center account on your first level. So again, your customer center is your personally your personal customer. Um, it's you. It's your name followed by CC or followed by customer center. No, you don't have to put your dog's name in there. Simply your own name in there will be fine. Uh, focus on building two main legs. The two the two teams that I talked about as you're personally sponsoring people. Build those two teams in, in volume. Um, you know, people are kind of a rule of thumb is, is when do you start a third leg um, minus your customer center? And that is when, two, when those two main legs have reached around 5,000. That's just, that's, that's not a rule, that's not a nothing, that's just kind of something that we've learned of, of, of when you start another place leg, is when these ones are very strong, the two that you have are very strong, growing independently start a third place leg on that. Um, work with your experienced uplines. The uplines know the very, very best on, on how to do it. That's the reason why they're millionaires, is because they know the best on how to do it. Again, this is just a universal way, a united way for everybody to kind of explain it and understand it in, in their head. So now here there's been uh, a few um, you know, questions on, on the customer centers. So I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the questions that I receive. Um, will customer centers count for nothing beats free? And the answer to that is, is yes. If the customer center um, has three customers purchasing underneath that, your customer center will receive nothing beats free. Now, does your customer center have to order? The answer to that is, is no. Your customer center doesn't have to order because customers don't need customers. Customers do not need an order to benefit from Nothing Beats Free. So again, yes, a customer center can do Nothing Beats Free um, if they have three purchasing customers underneath them. Does customer center PV, so personal volume, if you choose to, and GV count towards I bonus? The answer to that is yes. So you're still able to collect on iBonus, you're still able to take advantage of the iBonus um, in the, it, as long as all the other criteria is met on there. It doesn't mess up anything with your iBonus. You just simply put the customers underneath there and it, the volume will count towards your iBonus. Now here's a tricky question. Listen to this one. Do you have to have three customers underneath your distributor account? So three customers underneath your distributor account to collect on iBonus? And the answer to that question is no. Now in the past, you did have to have that, but we did some programming um, with these customer centers and, and, and simply you can, you can collect on iBonus through your customer centers without having the three customers, or if you choose not to do a customer center, you need to have your three customers under your distributor account. Now that one's a little bit, that's a little bit heavy, but um, if you don't understand that, let me know. But you can collect on iBonus. Does, this, does the distributor still get 15% on the customer center and the customers underneath that center? And the answer to that is, is yes, absolutely. As long as the distributor has 100 in PV, the distributor will get 15% on all of that customer and that customer leg that you have built. Can a customer count towards a qualifying leg for 1K, 5K, 20K, etc.? Yes, that's the whole reason why we're making the, the customer centers is to rank up, is to help you guys rank up. Um, if you choose to you know, evenly build with 
customers as well. So absolutely. How do I create a customer center? Simple. Enroll your, your own name as a customer. Get on your, on your back office, just like you're enrolling anybody else, and simply name it yourself with CC behind it, Kelly Allred Customer Center. Um, how do I get my current customers underneath the customer center? And that is email an elite rep or email me. That's how you can do it. You can email guests. Most people, you know, most people um, have been doing this through customer service, um, through you know, somebody internally. Um, we will help you. We need your. We need the customer center's ID number, and we need the customer's ID number of who we're moving the the volume um, of. So, I hope that I hope that clears it up a little bit on that on the customer centers. Um, again, they're great. It's just a tool if you choose to use it or not to rank up. So, thank you guys. This will, this one is you know again information only. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of these educational WWTs, um, more hitting hard on education. So, if you have any suggestions. You know, let us know if you if you want to learn about something. We will put it into the schedule so that everybody can learn on it. Um, you'll notice that we are sending out did you knows, and and those are emails, and it's just basically simple information about did you know how to change your ADP? Did you know that there was a power um, of three website, a Zango power of three website? Um, did you know you know different things? So. So watch for those. Those are just little bits of, of education that you may or may not know and to send to your downline so that they know. Little pieces of education. Again, give us your feedback. If, you, if, you, if somebody is confused and you want us to clear it up on something or if you want us to spotlight a did you know or a spotlight of WWT, let us know because we, you know, we're all about getting the information out and communicating. So with that being said, um, as Ryan would say, it's your time, it's our time, and the time is now. Thank you guys for attending. Remember to sign up for XBAs, and you can find the recording at zangopowerof3.com um, Friday morning, so tomorrow morning. We've got to give, give us a little bit of time to, to um, get it set up. So again, thank you guys. We appreciate you very much. Have a great night and hoping to see some of you guys at the XBA in California. Thank you.